basically what intervertebral disc disease is. Um, basically your dog has a brain and a spinal cord and the spinal cord connects the brain and brings that information from the brain down through the neck to the front limbs and then all the way down to the back legs. The spinal cord is surrounded by, by bones. So this is a cross section here through that last figure that we just saw. This is the spinal cord. So it's a tube kind of running um, from outside of the screen through the screen here and then back in. Um, so we're looking at it in cross section. These are all bones around and protecting the spinal cord. And in between each bone of the back, so we can see that we've got multiple bones here. Between each bone is a intervertebral disc, which acts as a cushion and a spacer um, and gives flexibility to the vertebral column. There are two main parts of the intervertebral disc that we're going to talk about, the outside part. So if we think of it as a, a jelly donut is an analogy that we often use. If we think of the outside part as the donut and the inside part as the jelly, the inside jelly part is called the nucleus pulposus and it should be nice and squishy and um, hydrated or fluidy and the annulus fibrosus should be tougher and um, house that nucleus pulposus. What we can see here is the intervertebral disc sits right below the spinal cord and the top part of the annulus, what we call the dorsal annulus, is thinner compared to the bottom part of the donut or what we call the ventral annulus. In certain breeds of dogs, the nucleus pulposus over time degenerates and loses its cushiony soft uh, properties and becomes more dry and brittle. And that makes the intervertebral disc lose its normal properties. And what can happen in certain breeds, like our dachshunds and French bulldogs and other small breed dogs, such as Pekingese and Shih Tzus and Beagles, um, that nucleus pulposus or the inside of the jelly can extrude out through the top part or the dorsal annulus to compress the spinal cord. And that pinches off that information that is making its way from the brain down to the front legs or the back legs. In comparison, and we're not going to talk a lot about type 2 intervertebral disc disease today, but type 2 is when the dorsal annulus or the outside part of that jelly donut protrudes and presses on the spinal cord, but the nucleus pulposus on the inside has not extruded out through it. Um, it's more common in large breeds. It's typically more uh, slow in onset and chronic and progressive as opposed to type one tends to be more common in small breeds and is typically more acute or rapid in onset. 